In order to get light with an animal, you need an animal that produces light. We know fireflies and glowworms, but they are not the only ones. Other insects, such as some flies or millipedes, for instance, shine in the night as well. There are also a lot of marine animals, such as squids, jellyfishes, starfishes, corals, and even sharks. There are microorganisms too, such as bacteria and plankton. With regards to the latter, these are actually microalgae, in other words, plants. So animals are not the only ones able to produce light. For instance, we can find a lot of luminous fungi too. This emission of light by a living organism is called bioluminescence. But how do these species emit light? Actually, bioluminescence is just a particular case of chemiluminescence, which consists in producing light thanks to chemical reactions. In a chemical reaction, the chemical products are transformed, but often there is also an exchange of energy with the environment. Usually, the energy is exchanged in the form of heat. For example, cooking an egg is a chemical reaction that requires to provide heat to the egg. On the contrary, the combustion of a piece of wood is a chemical reaction that produces heat. Well, some of these chemical reactions does not emit heat but light. The chemical products at the origin of this kind of reaction are well known and very used. For instance, everyone has already seen these luminescence wristlets or necklaces green, pink or blue that illuminate night parties. Two little glass bulbs are inside and each of them contains two different chemical products. When the wristlets are bent for the first time, bulbs break, both products mix and the wristlets light up. Some professionals use glow sticks that work on the same principle to light up in difficult conditions or underwater, for instance. The glow sticks go out after a few hours, once the chemical products deplete. But this is not the case with bioluminescence because the chemical products are synthesized by the organism all along. So, if the bioluminescent animal is properly fed, there is a permanent source of light. As a matter of fact, a company is currently developing an ambient lighting project based on this principle. This bioluminescent light emits a soft green light. It uses bioluminescent bacteria that feed with methane and composted matter generated by the daily life at home. However, this natural bulb has to emit enough light so that it can be useful. For practical purposes, some tens of insects would be necessary to reach a candle luminosity and so about 50 times more for a lighting similar to a common bulb. Bioluminescent could rather be used as additional light than main light, all the more that the emitted light is not white, but rather green or blue. Nowadays, researchers have identified mechanisms and genes that are at the origin of bioluminescence. Thanks to genetic modification, they can increase the intensity of light emitted by bioluminescence or make bioluminescent animals or plants that are not naturally bioluminescent. Some already think about planting bioluminescent trees in cities so that they could replace artificial city lighting currently used.